Hello and welcome to my shamanic healing course. In this free trial course on shamanic healing, I would like to give you an introduction on shamanic healing, a general overview of the history, philosophy and the principles of shamanism. My name is Manuela Ulram. I'm a certified shamanic coach and the founder of The Living Harmony. I have been working with energies for almost 20 years. I started in 2006 as a Feng Shui consultant and this followed by courses on mediumship and spiritual healing in Zurich and in England. In 2019, I launched my website, The Living Harmony. First, let me briefly explain what shamanism means, as I still believe there are some misconceptions and prejudices about it. Shamanism comes from the Siberian language and means working with energy and fire. The knowledge has been practiced for thousands of years worldwide and much of it has been forgotten. In shamanism, it is believed that all humans are interconnected and everything is in build and spirit. We are all connected. Humans, animals, plants, trees, crystals, chakras and our organs. The role of a shaman is to act as a mediator between the spiritual world and the earthly world. Shamans look beyond the immediate and work with the five elements, fire, water, air, earth, and wood. We heal on physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels. So for example, if someone experiences like a pain in, in your arm here, a doctor says, for example, oh, everything is fine, there is nothing, we don't see anything on the x-ray, but you still um, encounter, have this pain. So when you go to a, like a spiritual healer or a shaman, they look beyond, so they look beyond the horizon. And this is so interesting that we would look like into your aura field and check out on the chakras and so on. We would heal with crystals, a singing ball, and the five elements like a candle. Yes, candles are very powerful to withdraw negative energies. And I would like to show you a few tools we use in shamanic healing. We have here the shamanic drum. We have, of course, the singing bowl. We work with the pendulum and we use also feathers for the air healing. And of course, crystals, angels and herbs. I have here some lavender and I love to work with cards. So I use like animal, power animal cards and yeah. And so on. Yes, of course, more tools are, I have here my magic wand I use for healings. I built this wand by myself and I added some crystals to it. And of course, my medicine wheel here. This is also a shamanic tool. I use this for future predictions and also for healing. And here we have like 40 stones. I collected them personally in the river. And yes, this is also part of shamanic healing. Yes, I hope this gave you a little bit of an insight. What is shamanic healing? So let's move on to the second lecture. <music>